The mother of 14 children scheduled to be put to death next week. Melissa Lucio insists she was wrongfully convicted of killing her two-year-old daughter, Mariah, after a tragic accident 15 years ago. High-profile names fighting to save her from execution. ABC's Maria Villarreal is here with more. This morning, growing calls to save Melissa Lucio's life. Lucio was convicted of killing her daughter 15 years ago, but thanks to new evidence, she's receiving a chorus of public support pleading for mercy. In less than a week, Texas is set to execute Lucio. If it happens, she'd be the first Hispanic woman in the state to receive such a punishment. She didn't want to say she murdered my sister. She didn't. I know she did not. In 2007, paramedics arrived at Lucio's home to find her two-year-old daughter, Mariah, unresponsive. Lucio told police the toddler fell asleep and never woke up, admitting she fell down a steep staircase two days prior, but didn't appear seriously injured. Lucio's attorneys filed a clemency petition with the Texas Board of Pardons and Paroles, claiming the 53-year-old mother was coerced into confessing to the murder. A forensic expert in the clemency petition claims the bruising was consistent with head trauma after an accidental fall. Some of that interrogation shown in the 2020 Hulu documentary, The State of Texas vs. Melissa. The interrogation continued for maybe six, six, seven hours until three o'clock in the morning. This is your chance to set it straight. Because right now it looks like capital murder. Right now it looks like you're a cold-blooded killer. Lucio denied hurting Mariah more than a hundred times until lawyers say eventually Melissa admitted guilt. They, they basically give her a choice. They say either you're a cold-blooded killer or you're a frustrated mom, you know, who just took out her frustration on her child. Lucio's case drawing support from lawmakers in Texas from both sides of the aisle. We're not saying that uh, Miss Lucio is innocent. We're not saying that she's guilty. We're saying for the board to provide her some clemency so we can get her into a trial. Her case garnering the attention of reality star Kim Kardashian, who says she signed a petition urging the Texas governor to stop the execution. This is one of the many reasons why I'm against the death penalty. And Amanda Knox, who was acquitted for the 2007 murder of her roommate, Meredith Kircher in Italy, now defending Lucio based on her own experience with police interrogations. So when you're in an interrogation, they offer instead a sort of soft, like, oh, maybe you made a mistake. Maybe you're overwhelmed. I can understand where you're coming from, which gives you the impression that they actually are in, they have your best interest at heart. For Good Morning America, Mireya Villarreal, Dallas, Texas. And Governor Abbott didn't respond to our request for comment, but the board will make their recommendation public on Monday. We'll have much more on this story, including more of our interview with Melissa's son and more of the first network interview with the juror who says they regret voting to give her the death sentence. That will be Monday on Nightline. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.